What is going on guys? Welcome to this Python tutorial series for beginners. Today's first episode will be about the installation of Python and writing our first program. But before we get into that, let me quickly tell you some things about the series. First of all, it is for complete beginners. If you don't know anything about Python or programming in general, don't worry, you've come to the right place. We're going to learn everything from scratch here. However, you can still watch this as an intermediate programmer since I'll be going into a lot of depth here and you'll definitely be able to learn something new. Just make sure you watch all the videos in the right order because they build on one another. Besides that, there's not much to say except for some reasons to learn Python. I guess most of you are probably already convinced that learning Python is a very good idea, but for those of you who aren't, let me quickly tell you why it is. Python is a very simple and easy to learn language for beginners. Also, it is extremely popular and has a great community. It is the most widely used language for machine learning and data science, but nevertheless, it is still a general purpose language that you can do almost everything with. However, if you're implementing some very resource intense applications like 3D games, or if you want to program on a hardware level, language like C or C++ might be a better choice. In general, Python is a great programming language to learn, and that's especially the case for beginners. So let us get into the installation. To download Python, we need to visit the official Python website. There we have to go to the download area and click the button that downloads the latest version of Python. You can find a link to this page in the description down below. On Windows, you just download the setup file and save it to your desktop. If you're using Linux or Mac, you'll probably already have a Python version installed on your computer. However, it is probably not the newest one, so you might consider updating it from your terminal or on this website. When the download is finished, you can run the setup file and you'll see a window that looks like this. Now here, the essential thing is that you click the checkbox at the bottom that says add Python to path. This is important because otherwise we'll not be able to access Python from the command line. When you've done that, click on install now and wait for the setup to finish. This might take a while, so I'm going to skip this part. When the installation is done, we can close the installer and check if Python was installed correctly. To do this, we're going to open our command line from the start menu. Just type cmd and it will open up. In this terminal, we now type Python to run the Python shell. If it installed correctly, you'll see a shell like this opening up with the Python version that you installed. Now that we know we've installed Python properly, we can start with the programming. To open up our development environment, we type idle into our start menu. This stands for Integrated Development and Learning Environment, and it is the default editor that we're going to use in the beginner videos. When you run it, you'll see the same shell that we saw in the terminal before. Here we can directly input Python commands and statements that get executed immediately. However, this is not the place where we are going to write our Python code. We're going to write our Python code in files, and to create a new file, we click on File new file. And you can see this empty script opens up. Here we can now put all of our code. And the code of today's video is just print hello world. What it does it is basically outputs the text hello world onto the screen. We're basically just calling the so-called function print and this function accepts a so-called parameter in between the parentheses. There we put the text that we want to print out onto the screen. In this case, this is hello world, but of course you can change it if you want. Notice that we're using quotation marks here to indicate that what we pass is an actual text. This is important because otherwise we will get an error. Whenever some value is a text, it will be surrounded by quotation marks in Python. Now let's run our script by clicking on run, run module. First, we'll need to save the file on our computer. I will save it on my desktop and name it hello.py. Then it runs and here you can see the result, hello world. So that is our first program, the hello world program. We can be proud of ourselves. In the next video, we're going to talk about variables and data types. So keep watching and make sure you subscribe to this channel if you want to see more. Also hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and feel free to ask questions or give feedback in the comment section down below. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.